YC is one of the rising stars out of Nigeria. He's dropped some of the biggest tracks like Omar Laji and also Juice featuring Malik Berry. YC has been able to captivate the nation with his sounds and his young movement and his activity. His story is something to be motivated about. It's the number one journalist, Mr. Montgomery, and you're locked into the story of Afrobeats. Today I'm going to be covering the story of YC. Is he a boy, YC? Of course, he's got one of the biggest tracks um, with Juice. Um, I'm going to be talking about that in this story, of course. Leave a comment below who you want me to do as well. Leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. I want to finish this year with 10k subscribers or so, please. Help me. Um, also, um, follow me on our socials as well. And on the 5th of November, the story of Afro Beats. It's going to be a playlist with all the biographies of some of your favorite artists. So it's going to be like an album plus some unreleased footage and some new videos. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And um, let's get straight into this. Olu Demilade Martin Alejo was born on the 29th of January 1993 in Festac Town, a town in Lagos State, Nigeria. His name meaning God crowned me. He did his nursery and primary school at Dr. Soyemi Memorial. He studied marine biology at the University of Lagos. He grew up on his mum's side, but is a product of a Yoruba father and an Igbo mother. As a kid, he grew up listening to American music more than Nigerian music. The likes of 50 Cent and Fat Joe. He was inspired by the journeys of Nigerian rapper M. Ayabaga. He started rapping as a child and secondary school. He attended Nigerian Navy Secondary School in Ojo. He was obsessed with science that he convinced that he was going to be a scientist. The only thing he picked up at school was science activities. He went on to university to study marine biology. He began doing music at the age of 19 and put out his first single, Smile On Me. the name of YC standing for Young Carter, then later he put out Move. This opened immediate doors and he would get a record deal with Tiny Entertainment. The first single he would put out under the label was Past. Due to his involvement in university and school, he decided to take a break from music. In May 2015, YC made a comeback after releasing the song Condo featuring Pato Rankin. He released a single entitled Jagaban, which received massive airplays and made him more popular among music critiques, including Alamide, who asked to be featured on the remix and later releasing Omo Alaji, ending 2015 with the Rookie of the Year at the Headies Award. In 2016, he would keep up the work rate releasing Sumi and Harsh. Controversy would follow as he would have beef with fellow Nigerian rapper Vector dissing him on a track. In 2016, there was a rumour that he signed to Starboy International, but then Whiskey cleared up the rumour saying that he did not sign him. However, on October 2016, he was signed a deal with Sony Digital, but later accused the CEO of robbing artists in their contract. 2017 would be his breakthrough year as he would drop Link Up, his first project and the first wave EP. The EP featured tracks like Don't Need Bay and Juice featuring Malik Berry, one of his biggest tracks to date, which has over 8 million views to this day. Well, you know the rest of the story because this is the story of YC and this has been the story of Afrobeats. I've been your host, Mr. Montgomery aka Andre Johnson. Leave a comment below who you want me to do next. Leave a like, subscribe. I've done Runtown. I've done uh, Timaya, Little Cash. Um, let me know if you want me to do some actors, comedians. Um, and let me know who you want me to do outside um, um, of Nigeria, outside Ghana or any other country. I'm trying to broaden my horizon. This is also a news channel. So make sure you go and check that out. And um, I've got a documentary on Drew. The link is going to be in the description. So go and check that out as well. It's on my other channel. But without any further ado, peace.